What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the cannot connect to online services error, either when you're starting up the game or sometimes just randomly on the main menu while playing or anything like that. If you're unable to connect to online services and launching Cold War just doesn't work, well, here's a couple of fixes for you. Before we get into actual fixes, the first two things you need to check are Windows Update and your GPU drivers. Make sure everything's up to date. The second thing is making sure that it's not your network connection, i.e. do a speed test and a ping test, make sure that the internet is working as expected, then make sure it's just you and not the servers affecting everyone. To do that, ask a friend if they can connect and also click the link in the description down below, which will take you across to this online services page. Simply select Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and make sure it says online for all platforms. Scroll down, choose the platform that you're connecting to the servers with, i.e. I'm using Battle.net, and check the Twitter to see if there's any announcements of maintenance. If not, which there probably isn't, it could just be you. To start off, the first most common fix for this error is simply running the game or Blizzard as admin. So open up Blizzard, head across to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Options, then Show in Explorer, open up this, and find Black Ops Cold War. Right click, Properties, Compatibility, and then make sure to check Run this program as an administrator. Click Apply, OK, and then launch up the game through the Blizzard launcher. If you're still not connecting properly, that's fine. Simply look in your Blizzard launcher, click the Blizzard icon in the top left, and then click Exit. We'll press Start, type in Battle, and we'll be running the Battle.net app as admin. So run as administrator. Click Yes when prompted for admin, and it'll launch in admin mode. Now, of course, I also have the game in admin, so clicking play will launch the game in administrator mode regardless. Now, you should be able to connect as that's the most common fix. Note that when you're running the game as administrator and you're tabbed into it, it will absorb all of your key presses. So, if you have something like push to talk or push to mute in Discord, that will no longer function. You'll have to run Discord as admin as well if you're having issues. The next most common fix is making sure that your Activision and Blizzard accounts are linked. Head across to Activision.com in a web browser. Click Login in the top right, and hopefully it works for you. <laughs> right, well, let's try a different web browser then. And you should be redirected to a login page like this. Simply enter your details and log in. Then after logging in, you should see this page over here once again. Click Profile in the top left. If you still see the login icon as such, make sure to hit Control F5 and then try clicking the button again. There we go. Now that I got my way around this glitchy site, I'm finally here. Simply locate the Blizzard banner and make sure it says something like this where there's an unlink button. Don't click it. We're just checking to see if it's properly linked, which it is. It's on the correct account for me. If you see something like link with Blizzard account, make sure to click it and sign in with your Blizzard account to link them together. After doing this, you should be able to launch up the game and play as expected. Then the third most common fix is something on your PC is blocking your connection. So either disable your antivirus's firewall or disable Windows firewall temporarily. Press start. Firewall, head across to Windows Defender Firewall, and inside of here, click Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Because it's controlled by my antivirus, I can't get into this window over here. But when you do, you'll be able to turn it off temporarily, test to see if the game works, and then turn it back on if it does. If it's causing issues, then make sure to allow the game through the firewall. We can do that by pressing Start, and then typing in Firewall once again. This time, we'll head into the Allow an App through Windows Firewall option over here. Then, this window will open up. Simply scroll down until you see Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, as they are here. If you don't see them, make sure to click Change Settings in the top right, and then click Allow Another App. Click Browse, navigate across to where the game is installed, and double-click on coldwar.exe, then click Add. Now you should see it on the list. Simply make sure that it's checked on the left-hand side, Private and Public are also checked. OK, and we're done here. We've allowed it through the firewall. By this point, hopefully it's fixed. Something you can do is follow a port forwarding guide and get yourself port forwarded so that you open your NAT for not only better network performance, reliability, but it could also help you get through a couple of issues if your router or routers for some reason are blocking the connection. If you'd like a guide on port forwarding, make sure to check the description down below for a link to a video on that. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.